Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to try to make this card. This is from E Papery, and it had all these pretty little tags in there, and I took them out so I can do some measuring. This is from E Papery, and Michelle, I think, made it. And this is going to be our tag number four for our tag journal. So that slides out like that. Got journaling space and it slides right back down in there. Is that not smart? I love it. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do the embell I mean the uh, embroidery at the top, but, and she made this, if I'm not mistaken, it is made from an envelope from what I can see. So we're gonna try this. Um, it is, let's see. Turn that up right there. Oh yes, this is gonna be the right size envelope. Now, this envelope is almost nine. It's like eight and seven sixteenths, maybe, or eight and seven eighths, something like that. And it is almost four, so it's like three and seven eighths. I'll get my eights straightened up in a minute. And I got glue somewhere right here it is. And we're gonna glue this together right here because we don't need that open and I'm not going to worry about my window she didn't worry about hers this is some of her beautiful paper that uh, we showed in a video earlier today and then this postcard I have already trimmed it down this is her postcards and let me grab them they're right here this is the postcard and then this is the back of the postcard. So it's two different sheets and you just cut them out and I glued them together. And you could stitch around them if you want, but I just glued it real good. Now you do have to trim it down a little bit more. I just trimmed mine down the size of hers. And then I went ahead and rounded my corners. But that's up to you. You don't have to round them. That's just my, my particulars. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold this over beside this one and I'm just gonna fold this up about like she has hers folded. It won't be the exact same, but it'll be pretty close. I'm hoping <laughs> if we get it put together right. Oh my goodness. Well, I do have a bone folder somewhere. There we go. So that's going to be our little front pocket right here. Now she stitched hers together, looks like. Um, I'll probably glue this one just for the video sake, but you could stitch or glue. It doesn't matter. Alrighty. I am going to, she cut this one off, or cut the top off, right here. So I'm going to mark that, and then I'll tell you about what size that top is. Okay, so she cut it off at, uh, looks like one and three quarter, right there. So we're going to go ahead and cut that off. And I hope I'm doing this right. But you know what, if I'm not, all we have to do is just grab another envelope. I'll probably make more of these anyway, because I think they're pretty. Let's see if I got... Yeah, mine's a little bit shorter than hers, but it's not much. It's just tiny, tiny bit. Okay. So that will go there. Now, she took this. Let's take this back out. And looks like she glued it in between the two layers on here. Like that. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to try my best to get this pretty even. I don't know if I'll manage it, but let's just try. I think that looks pretty much. This glue, once I stick it down, hmm, let me pull that back out. Once I stick that glue down, it is glued, glued. So I'm just going to put a little glue on the front, a little glue on the back, and then if we need more glue, we can always... Put it up in there so you guys make sure you go over and check out Michelle on ePapery 
Let's see. Okay, let's see if that looks about right. Well, it's a little bit shorter, but that's going to be fine. It didn't have to be any particular length. Now, I think what she did was she covered it. She put it back in. She covered it with paper and made it look just seamless, where the paper just looks like it's continuing on. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to stick this back down in there like that. Make sure that mine's going to line up, and it looks like it will. Yep, it looks like it lines up pretty good. There. I'm going to erase this pencil mark because that's throwing me. Okay. Now we'll find some paper to do that with. And I could use some of her paper, as a matter of fact. This is, uh, some of this is going to look really fallish. And you know, our my journal is fall. Yours may not be, but mine is. So, ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Let's just look through here. And if you haven't seen the video where I show these papers, go over and check it out. That's what she, that's one that she used, I think, on the back. So, ooh, that one's pretty too. Let's pull that one out. And maybe that one. Oh, and I like that one. <laughs> let's pull some of those out. And then those are pockets and things back there. So let's look at these. Hmm, I really like that. But I think I'm really going to like these flowers. May have to lose some of them. Not sure. Maybe not. Just part of, I'll probably cut this off and then I won't have to lose any at all. So let's trim this a little bit at the bottom. And I am just going to use my ruler. And I'm going to trim it off just about a half an inch right there at the bottom. Got something on my knife. Oh, and my niece, for those of you who have has asked, my niece is holding her own. She's not a lot better, but she's not a lot worse. So she's, she's basically holding her own. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your prayers. I really appreciate those. Now, I was trying to see if she had used a couple of different collections on here. Looks like she might have used something different at the top. All right, I think I'm going to go all the way with mine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm talking back and forth. I, don't, I really don't know how I want to do it exactly. But I'm going to start by just covering this top up here and trimming that off maybe. And then we'll kind of go from there. And I may be starting this completely upside down, but we'll see. want to make sure that I get it lined up as well as I can. Okay, that's pretty well lined up. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to fold that back right at the edge. Okay, so first I'm going to cut down through here. Okay, and I think I've completely changed my mind, but we'll see. And I know this is I'm turning this around and around and around and around, but I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to cut this. I think I'll tear it off. Okay. So there is our top part right there. And I do believe that I want to use a different color in the middle. I just want to break it up a little bit. Okay, I don't know that I'm doing so great on this, but we're going to make it anyway. See, I made a boo-boo right here and tore it a little bit too short. But we're going to fix that. We'll fix it in a minute. Now, I think I want the flower part down here, this little part. Maybe. Yeah, that part right there. But then in the middle, right here, I want something different. So I'm going to turn this around and tear off a piece. 
and I think I'm gonna tear it off a little bit longer than what I need and I have a silly fly in here again oh those things drive me crazy yeah we'll put that down there and then I'm just gonna fold it over at the top hopefully you're understanding what I'm doing I don't know if Michelle has a YouTube channel. Do you, Michelle? I think you do. Did you make this on your YouTube? If you did, let me know in the comments below and I'll share it with everybody. Um, don't know if she did or not, but we'll find out. Because I'm sure she can do this much better than I can today. Today, I feel like I'm all thumbs. You ever have days like that? This feels like everything you start to do kind of goes backward. Okay, maybe that is somewhat near straight. That's good enough. Good enough. And then we'll just go ahead and not much here, but we'll go ahead and try to fold that over. And hubby is doing pretty good too. He is, he went back to the doctor today, his family doctor, and uh, he gave him a good checkup and he said he, everything looked good. He gave him one other medicine to try just for his anxiety, because he seems to be having quite a bit of anxiety since everything happened. So he gave him a little bit of medicine for that. And, uh, then wants to see him back in like 30 days so that he can check him again. But he said the heart and everything else sounded great. So we are thankful for that. Okay, I thought about putting that on there. But I'm thinking now I might want that on there. Alright, let's tone the orange down a little bit by using some of this on there. So I'm going to tear this a little bit wide yeah, there we go and then we'll just tear it off a little bit I don't think that'll work We'll go ahead and put this down and then we can close up our pocket. And you could have carried your paper all the way around. I'm not sure that she did that, but you could have just folded it all the way around if you wanted to. But I think I'll put something different on the back. Okay, there's that covered. And there is that. And then we're going to glue this down. And these two papers are from the same collection. I just thought instead of having so many flowers up through there that you know it'd be good to have a little break and you can see where I've got that little bit of white there but I think I'll be able to ink it let me just lay this in there and see if it's gonna work first yeah it's gonna work let's see what do we want to do let me think about this one a minute Okay, I may use a little piece of this. I know this is supposed to look seamless like hers does, where you don't you don't know where that is joined there. But since I have that little bit of white spot there, and I really want to bring all of this together, I may put a little piece of that there and then another little piece down here, and it will kind of bring it together. Let's do that. And I think on this... I'm just going to tear it off and wrap it around. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue down here at the bottom. And I'm going to glue that one first. Okay. Now, don't glue the top part because if you do, you're going to close your pocket up where you won't be able to open it back up. But we're going to decorate that a little bit. I know that looks a little bit strange. We're going to decorate it, don't worry. And I can't really wrap that around and glue it either because 
it would keep my pocket from opening. So we're just going to cut that little piece off. Now we've got a little piece there that just that just slides in behind it. And I think that looks good because if I get it a little bit off, which you know normally I do, you won't be able to tell that it's a little off. Okay, now let's see what we can do down here at the bottom. This is another little piece of that paper. We could go across there with that, maybe. I don't know that it needs it. Let's don't. Let's just put a little pull right here. I should have punched that before I put all this together, but you know, you guys know, you see the first. This is the first. <laughs> I should have probably practiced this before I actually did it. But I didn't. Uh-oh, that's not a very deep pull. There we go. That's a little bit better. Still not deep enough. I want to get it a little bit deeper. The only thing about having your punch, you're not being able to do it upside down, you can't tell how deep you're punching in there. Now, I think I see why she stitched, because if we don't, this is going to be a little bit loose. So, let me think a minute. Stitching will tighten those edges up and make that where it'll stay in there. So let me take this to my sewing machine. But let's go ahead and cover the back and then I'll take it over there and stitch this up. And then that should close it up well enough that it, the little tag won't be sliding in and out of it. So let's go ahead and mark this where we need to tear that off. I know, was this a jumbled up enough video for you? Hey, you see it real here. I'm telling you, it's real. I don't practice. And, you know, some people I know say that I probably should, but I don't know. That takes fun out of it for me if I have to practice it. Just grab it and start working on it. Okay. Now, we can't glue it all the way up, of course. Not yet. So we're going to glue here at the bottom. We may just make another one just so that since we know a little bit more about what we're doing now, <laughs> we may make another one. Who says I know what I'm doing? Very seldom. Okay. All right, there's that glued down. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And then I'm going to glue this little edge right here. Up there. So I don't glue my pocket together. And then I need to trim it right across there. And I'm sure Michelle has an easier way to do this. I always, my husband always says that I start at the back end and go to the front. That's what he tells me when I start a project. He'll say, you start at the back end and go to the front. You should start at the front and go to the back. But, you know, I've always been a little bit backward. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine, and I'm going to sew around the edges. Now, if you don't want to sew, then make sure that you put a little glue inside your edges or make your little card a little bit bigger so that it will slide in and out there without any problems and that it'll be tighter. So see, if you made your card a little bit bigger, that would be tighter and it wouldn't let it slide back and forth. You could even make it a little thicker if you wanted to. So let's see if we can put this back together. We'll put this little piece on here. Go ahead and pull that out, and then I'm just going to trim that tiny little bit of white right there, sticking out. Then I'm going to ink around this, and look, I'm using my new 
ink daubers. I love how it feels. All right, I'm gonna stitch around these and I'll be right back. Okay, we've stitched around it, so let's see if it fits a little bit tighter. Oh yes, very much so, whoops. All right, that works a lot better. Just that little bit of stitching around it helped a lot. See, my tag doesn't slide around now like it was. So I love that. Okay, and my stitching today was horrible. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. I think today is just not my day to do videos. I have had a rough time this morning trying to get my head situated out. Let's see. All right, we can make some tags for this. I know you guys don't have that problem, do you? Some days you do videos, some days you can't. I seem to have those days sometimes. Let's see, I'm trying to find a tag that will work. There's one that would probably go. I think she had two that size. And then one that's a little bit bigger. So let's grab Maybe one of these. Tuck that in there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I'm going to take the string off of this one. And I don't really like how that one comes to that great big point at the top. So I'm going to cut that down a little bit. I like that better. Now I'm going to cover some of these with some of this paper. I'm just going to try to get some that doesn't have these big flowers on it. So we'll do that. And as I said, I'll probably do a couple more of these just for practice so that maybe I'll remember next time. But we're going to put this one in our journal. Now, what we'll do is we'll hinge it on this side over here. So keep your embellishments over this way. We'll put a hinge on the back right here and hinge it that way. And see the back, you can do journaling on here if you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and punch that hole back in there if I can. I know it's got an eyelet in it. Oh, it punched. No problem. And I just left that eyelid in there. I'm not even going to fool with trying to take it out and move it. And I want to cover it with some coffee dyed paper or something on the back that we can journal on. We can journal with this. I've got lots of teeny scraps. We need to make some little clusters. I need to get some clusters made. Because I've got lots of small, tiny scraps that would make good clusters. And I am about out of clusters. I think I have one or two left in my stash. This is coffee dyed paper from, oh, Veronica at Triple V Vintage. I have to think just a minute. Veronica. I gotta get some more paper too, Veronica. I am about out. I've got to get on your site and order it. She's on Etsy, and I will put her link below. You guys go over and check out her coffee dyed paper. It is the bomb, as the, the young people say nowadays. It is the bomb. Now, I will probably go back and stitch around this as well, just because it is kind of thick, and I have that black in there but you don't have to. I just happen to like that look right there. And you don't have to use tags that are already pre-made either. You can make your own tags. All right, now let's use something else for the other two tags. I don't wanna use the same thing, so I'm gonna use a piece of this on here. These are just some little tags that I got from Prima a long time ago. And they were just in a little booklet, and I have been using them ever since. They come in handy when you don't want to stop out and cut something to make a tag with. 
and I like the thickness of them because you know I like my tags kind of thick. I don't like them flimsy. Our neighbor's mowing again every Wednesday or Tuesday or Wednesday. When I start filming, he starts mowing. <laughs> and I know he doesn't know when I film. It's just, that's one of his things. But I can't complain because since Whit has been out of commission, his son has been keeping our grass cut. So that has helped me tremendously because I don't think I could get it all done if he hadn't have. So I don't mind a bit. Let him mow all he wants. And he won't take anything for it. So I'm, I'm going to go and get him a gift card for just like um, Visa card, put some gas money on it for him because he's done a lot for us this summer. And since Whit has been down, he's really taken care of our yard. So I thought, and he's a young guy, he just graduated last year, and I thought, you know, every young guy needs gas for their truck. He's got a nice truck, so I thought I'll just get him a card and put some gas money on it and hand it to him and he'll have to take it <laughs> because that way he can he can just spend it on his gas or whatever he needs he's a good kid most kids at that age you don't see them out helping old people <laughs> but he's really good and uh, you know our kids would do it but they have been gone so much this summer that they just haven't haven't had the time and then our our mower Alicia was going to come over this week and do some yard work and our mower broke so now our mower's got to go in the shop so it's it's just one thing after the other <laughs> just call this place the the tore up spot we are we're the tore up place. Everything around here just about is breaking. We finally got the car fixed where Whit had, he said he put a, uh, a blemish on it. I said it's a little bit more than a blemish. But when he was at the hospital last time, he was trying to back out of a parking deck and they, you know, they have those big yellow poles there. Well. The yellow pole was there, but it had been broken off, and you couldn't see it from inside the car. So when he turned his wheels, his wheels caught that, or his front fender caught that yellow pole, and just tore that fender all to pieces. So we had a friend that, he has a body shop, so he was able to fix that for us, and not charge us an arm and a leg, which is what other people wanted. So we got that done got the car back now we got to get the tractor done but that's life isn't it it's a life when you when you have um, business and when you have a house that's life okay I covered the back of that one before I did the front so what do we want to put on the front let's put a little piece of this maybe let's put a little piece of this here I think yeah he come in from the hospital and he was so upset this has been probably a month ago he was so upset I said what is it and he said I don't even want to tell you and I said what I thought something was wrong terribly I said what and he said I put a big old mark on the car. I said, you had a wreck? And he said, well, not exactly. He said, I didn't have a wreck, but he said, I sure sure put a big blemish on the car. So he said, come on out here and look at it and go ahead and start hollering at me. <laughs> I went out there and looked at it and I said, oh, well, that's not so bad. And he said, you're not gonna get upset? And I said, why should I get upset? It's done. There's nothing I can do about it. And you're okay. So, you know, that's material things. They can be fixed. I was afraid something was wrong with you. He said, wow. He said, I worried all the way home, Fred, you was going to get so upset. Because, see, that's really my car. 
I said, nope, I'm not going to get upset over that. i got too many other things to be concerned with. All right, and then she put a little piece of, she used eyelash trim. I don't really have any eyelash trim. I may just use a little bit of this twine on mine because I don't have any. Well, I could use a piece of this, this white trim that I have. Hopefully it'll go through this little hole. Yes. And you could put an eyelet in that hole if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave mine like it is. I may go back later when I put them in a journal and just put a little uh, reinforcer there, hole reinforcer. But for now, we're just going to leave them like this. those a little bit. I don't want them sticking up quite so tall. Okay. Let's put this big one in the back. And I'll, I'll put some more embellishments on there. I am sure. Right now I'm just going to put them in there like that. And then I want to put a little bit of something up here. Um, looks like she put a little butterfly, a um, little banner on there, and then a little flower down here. So let's do a flower down here. I'll grab these flowers, and these are some that she sent to me as well, these. So I think that one will go good, won't it? And I may put a smaller one up here, just to kind of disguise that a little bit. What do you think? Let's put it on the other side. Like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. That's one of Katie's and this is one of e Ree's. And we're going to put that there, but I want to stick a little label underneath, I think. Oh, Shell, I love these. This is so comfortable. I like my Tim Holtz ones, but I like those as far as comfort. Because my hands are not what they used to be. Okay, put that there. And then, let's see. Put this one up here. Whoops, I don't want to glue it all the way, so let's take that glue off the top. I'm just going to let it kind of hang over. Okay, and then we'll put something right here. Okay, yes, let's use this right there. And this is just a little label. Uh, looks like somebody punched it out and sent it to me. there and it's already got that little stamp on there. Well, there are my initials, EW. Isn't that something? Hmm, that come out of Tim Holtz too. Okay, let's put that little piece on there and I'll probably cut the edge of it off just so that it looks a little bit more like it fits, if you know what I mean. But there. Yeah, still got our initials on there. And then, let's see, other than decorating up the tags, I think that might be all that I do. That's, that's pretty busy. But I will decorate my tags up a little bit. She decorated hers, looks like, just just a little in different areas. So I'll probably put a little bit of something on mine, not a lot, because mine are a little bit taller than hers. I may cut these off a little bit. 
they're a little bit tall and then I'll probably put a little piece of bling in there but other than that that is it there is our tag a pull out what are we gonna call this a pull out tag inspired by e-papery Michelle <laughs> all right guys I think that is it for the video I'm gonna put her tags back in here so that you can see hers yes there we go all right that is it I hope you enjoyed if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to go check out the links below I'll have the links of everything that I have used that I can think of down below so you can go check those out we'll talk to you guys later bye bye